Hello YouTube friends, welcome back to another exciting video brought to you by RugDoc. Yield farms, NFTs, and meme coins. Ah, these could be amazing, you can create your own project and reap millions of dollars. Hey, that's pretty good. So how do you actually do this? It all starts with a little programming language called Solidity. Now, if you're looking to learn Solidity or if you're just dipping your toes in the water, check out this video. I'm going to teach you all the best courses and tutorials and how to get started learning Solidity. So let's get into coding. Solidity is the main programming language that you need to learn to write smart contracts and blockchain dApps. But hold on a minute, if you're new to programming, you might not want to actually start with Solidity. Why? Because Solidity can actually be kind of hard to learn. It might look deceptively simple on the surface, but it's a lot harder than, say, your basic HTML and CSS. In fact, if you don't know any programming at all, it might actually be worth studying Python instead. To study Python, you can check out this amazing Python education subreddit on reddit.com. In here, you'll find a ton of links and a ton of resources to get started on Python. And after learning a bit about Python, you can then move on to Solidity and it'll make a lot more sense. By the way guys, if you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and like the channel to help us bring you more exciting content. And if you want a link to all the exciting resources I'm going to talk about in this video, definitely check out the description. Okay, so you want to really learn Solidity. Now the first thing you want to do is maybe check out this awesome game called CryptoZombies.io. Crypto Zombies is an interactive school that teaches you all things technical about blockchains. You can learn to make smart contracts in Solidity or Libra by making your own crypto collectibles game. Now on the surface, it looks like a game, but you can actually learn a lot about Crypto Zombies. The interface is really nice, and there's a lot of different interactions with the website itself. For example, you can customize this nice little zombie using different sliders here, and then see how Solidity programming can actually change the look of your zombie. There's also a ton of different lessons in Solidity to make your own game, from making the zombie factory, to attacking your first victim, to even setting up a nifty battle system. And within each lesson, there are a multitude of chapters so you can definitely get your knowledge of Solidity in. There's also a section on Advanced Solidity, which does have a lot of lessons from testing smart contracts with Truffle on how to build your own Oracle. So yeah, definitely give Crypto Zombies a try. It's entertaining and you can definitely learn a lot about Solidity. The next resource is another fun game called Capture the Ether. It's a game in which you can hack an Ethereum smart contract and learn about security, but probably don't use this to hack any yield farms. So this game looks quite simple at first, but you can actually complete a series of challenges in different categories. And when you complete them, you earn points for every challenge you complete. Pretty awesome, right? It's a bit more simple than Crypto Zombies, but if you're just looking for a lot of detail, then this game might actually be for you. The next resource is Diff Checker. So if you guys are familiar with Diff Checker, you can use this program to find and check a new farm's MasterChef contract and compare it to other MasterChef contracts that also use Solidity. Our community here at RugDoc even started with this program, reviewing different projects using Diff Checker. So definitely check out Diff Checker because it'll teach you the basics of a lot of smart contracts and you can find actual examples of different smart contracts from programs like PancakeSwap or Goose Finance or even PantherSwap. We also have an article on this which I will link to below. Here's another resource you can use called Learn X in Y Minutes. Now this one isn't a game, there's a lot of different uh, screenshots and a lot of information that's definitely dense. So if you're looking for a game, I'd recommend one of the earlier ones. However, if you're looking for a lot of information on working with Remix and MetaMask, as well as a lot of detailed descriptions and screenshots, definitely check out this huge website. The next resource we can check out is the Ethereum Blockchain Developer Guide. And as you can see, there is a lot of documentation in this guide. So yeah, it's pretty dense, however, there is a bit of humor in, so you can definitely enjoy the humorous content as well while you're learning. It also does include a lot of different resources to different video tutorials, for example, on Udemy. And it covers pretty much everything you'll need to know about Solidity and handling Ethereum. 
The next resource is by Open Zeppelin. Now, Open Zeppelin is a smart contract auditing company and has been around for quite some time. They are a very reputable company which does rely on their security as a top priority. So everything you learn from here will definitely have a security priority. In their learn tab, you can see they have a lot of different modules from setting up a node project to connecting to a public test network to even upgrading smart contracts. And the last resource we'll take a look at is 1729. In this website, 1729, you can actually learn and even earn crypto. Of course, everyone loves to earn crypto. Now, if you look at their past tasks, you can see that there are different tutorials that you can learn about and different amounts of money you can earn from, let's say $100 even up to $100,000. Now there are a lot of different tasks, not only crypto based. For example, this one is review the book Indistractable. Good tweet length reviews earn $10, longer reviews earn $100. So yeah, basically all you have to do is read a book and review it and then you can earn $100 along the way. Now, besides reviewing books, there are more solidity and programming based challenges. For example, like create a chatbot with a few lines of code or crowdsource tools for open science or even help teaching developers how to build DeFi apps on Solana. So yeah, there are a ton of tasks here and you do get real money. So if you want some extra cash and to learn something, definitely check out 1729. Now there are some more resources you can check out on our article here. Definitely check out the link below for a list of Solidity resources. And I hope you guys actually take some time to learn about this amazing language where you can create any kind of crypto project your heart desires. And as always guys, subscribe and like this video for more amazing DeFi content and have an amazing day. Stay safe out there in the DeFi world.